This is the Lulich Corner. I'm Jordan Lulich and it's hosted by Lulich and Attorneys. And today I've got the pleasure of speaking with Nikki and Tori from Marine Bank and Trust. So typically the way I like to start out the podcast is just by a simple introduction to our audience. So um, I know it's probably your favorite topic, but if you could tell us a little bit about yourselves. Sure. Um, I'm Tori Hume. I'm the commercial lender at Marine Bank. I've worked with the bank for just about seven years. So I handle all things on the business side of lending. Okay. Thank you. I'm Nikki Maslin. I've been in banking for about 25 years. Um, recently joined Marine Bank back in October. I'm excited to be here. Um, I come with a wealth of experience um, and I'm the bank manager here in Sebastian. Okay. So Marine Bank, right? Marine Bank is it's different because it's not a, a large bank like Wells Fargo, TD Bank. I'm sure a lot of people locally know about Marine Bank, but uh, can you tell me a little bit about the bank when it was founded and, and kind of what what the vision is for Marine Bank? Sure. So Marine Bank's been around since 1997. Um, so we, um, we, we specialize in all small businesses and residential lending. We do very personal um, interactions with our clients. So we don't have a 1-800 number. Um, you can call the bank anytime and you can reach us directly. You often have our cell phone numbers to reach us directly. So it's just a very different feel. Um, and we call ourselves kind of like a Marine Bank family because we work so closely together. Yeah. Now, Nikki, I know you've worked for other banks, right? You've been in the banking industry for a little bit. And yes. You could talk a little bit about that. Um, so what what's your take? What's the difference between Marine Bank? And you don't have to name the specific lenders that you or banks that you've worked for in the past, but what differences have you found from Marine Bank versus the more corporate banks? Certainly. I work for small banks. I've worked for large corporate banks. I've also worked for credit unions. And I've been actually trying to come over to Marine Bank for probably the last five years. Um, and so timing's right. But what is really great about Marine Bank is that they empower us to make decisions and to really help, you know, the people that we serve in our communities. And that is what makes a big difference. You know, all the time we hear horror stories about people not getting help, not their phones not being answered, their emails not being responded to. And we really take great pride in offering that personal service as well as offering all the high tech, you know, uh, technology and apps that the big banks offer. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, so now is Marine Bank, what, what's the scope of what Marine Bank offers? Because, you know, there's there's different facets to a bank, right? You have lending, you have credit lines, you have just small business banking. Um, so what what is the scope of the services? Um, maybe, Tori, you could start out with more of the, the lending side of the services that Marine Bank offers. Sure. So we cover loans from like 25000 up to $11 million. Um, so because we're a smaller bank, we have a, a smaller legal lending limit. So we're not going to you know, be doing like $100 million loans. But that allows us to really service those small businesses we have here locally. Um, on the residential side, we do portfolio loans and secondary market, which means we can sell um, we can sell the loans so that they're they're fitting in those boxes. They're giving you the absolute lowest rates. But sometimes there's more specialty loans like jumbo loans, mm -hmm. and we keep those in our books. Um, on the commercial side, everything stays with us forever. So from application until your loan pays off, you work directly with me. Um, so it's a really great feature of it. But we do credit lines, um, real estate loans. We do um, equipment loans and vehicles. So like anything you can think of, um, even some more fun things like borrowing against investment accounts or condo association loans, um, nonprofit. So lots of good stuff. Okay. And so on the banking side, Nikki, what, what, how would you describe the services that Mar Marine Bank offers? So we're full service. So we offer all the personal accounts you would need, whether it's just a checking or a money market. CD rates are a hot topic right now. Mm -hmm. um, but IRAs, um, on the business side, free business checking. All of, all of our accounts are free, which is really great. So a lot of the banks right now are requiring a minimum balance or you have to have direct deposit or do some main transactions. We don't have those requirements, which is really nice for our clients. Um, so we offer a wide um, array of services. Um, we do consumer lending as well. We um, have cash management for our business clients who need something that's a little bit more sophisticated to run their business. Um, we have all the technology, Apple Pay, Google Pay, um, and we also do merchant services. So for businesses that need credit card uh, purchasing and processing, we can um, offer that as well. So full service, anything that the big banks offer, we offer here locally. So it's kind of a new territory that we're in, right? Because, I mean, the past few years, we've experienced some really low interest rates. 
um, which was beneficial on the real estate side, but not so much beneficial on trying to put your money in a CD or money market account. So what are you seeing right now as far as rates? You know, if people are sitting a large amount of cash, um, you know, and they're only getting a half percent interest rate. I mean, is that still the status quo now or Mm -hmm. has climate changed since we've seen an increase in rates, Nikki? Absolutely. Um, We have been historically low for a very, very long time, which has been great for lending. Not so much right now, (laughs) but it's great for deposits. So if you are sitting on any extra money, whether it's in your savings account or you had a money market that was paying, you know, half a percent, now's a great time to come in and chat with us. We have uh, several different promotions, but we are seeing rates anywhere from three to 5% on the deposit side, just depending on the product that you you have and the balance that you maintain. Um, So those are always great conversations to have with people who are sitting on cash. Yeah. So bring us your money. Yes. <laughs> We'd love to help you earn some more. <laughs> yes. Now, if people, if people feel compelled that they want to invest their money, um, you know, I know, Tori, you, you uh, handle a lot of different commercial loans. Mm-hmm. So what, what are you seeing with rates? I mean, a lot of people I, that I talk to, they're, they're concerned about what, where rates are, where rates are going. Um, so, I mean, if you're talking to, you know, whether it be a business owner or an investor who's looking for another investment purchase, uh, you know, what, what, what is your take as far as what the market's doing and what you see Marine Bank's offering as far as rates go? Sure. So we still are offering investment loans, but we're seeing a lot less of them. Um, because rates are higher, it's it's more difficult for an investor to come in and say, this makes sense for me because it's it's more for them to carry. Yeah. Um, so we're seeing a lot more business owners that are purchasing their real estate. But if we do have investors come in, we're, we're still offering those type of loans. It's just fewer. Yeah. Um, on the business side, we're seeing more business owners purchasing um, because as market rental rates go up, um, you know, they have more control over that when they own their property. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Now, one of the things that I can personally attest to is, is Marine Bank does have a strong community presence. Um, And we, we've worked together a lot. You know, you guys come to our, our real estate events, you Mm -hmm. know, you participate in the Sebastian chamber. Um, So, you know, what, what is the role of the community at for Marine Bank? Uh, And Nikki, I guess, why don't you take this one? Certainly. Um, We are about being involved in the communities that we serve. So we serve, we have location in Melbourne, Sebastian, two locations in Vero, one in Fort Pierce. Um, We have a loan production office down in St. Lucie. So we do service those communities and we empower our employees to get involved. So for instance, if you have somebody that loves dogs and wants to volunteer at Halo, we Mm -hmm. encourage that. Whether it's on their own time or during work hours, we'll we will pay our employees to to volunteer for those organizations. You want to sit on a board of directors. Um, we obviously want people involved. Um, you want to donate your time, money, however you feel empowered, and whatever organization that you are connected with. We want our employees to be involved because the more that we help serve the community, the better the community is. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's I think it's one of like the. Um, unique aspects and I always say this but you know Vera Sebastian it's you know we don't live in a large city so no. you go out you know you go to whether it be a local restaurant or a supermarket or you know you're on the beach like you run into people that you know all the time and you, know, you guys have been here for a while as well um, so I, I think that you know that that role in the community and serving the community and just developing those relationships I think no matter what business you are I think it's mm-hmm. it's especially important in Indian River County because we want to make sure that that we've got, you know, some, some type of, we're involved in the community. So as the community grows, we're participating in that growth and, and making sure that we can still keep that that unique uh, that unique feature that that Indian River County mm-hmm. offers. Um, all right. What about what are your some favorite things about Marine Bank, Tori? Oh, I have so many things I love about Marine Bank. I I really love how we all work so closely together. Um, I trust my partners. I trust my team. Um, and, and everyone's kind of held accountable. So like even my credit analysts here are in Indian River County. So if I have something I need, I can go over to the Beachland office or I can call them. And, and everyone is just accessible. So we can really help our clients. You were just mentioning... Um, what a special place this is. And, you know, it's a very small community. You run into people everywhere. And I would never want to walk into Publix and see everyone I know. Um, yeah, 100%. And, yeah. But see someone that I wasn't able to help or that I didn't get back to. And so that's why it's so important for us to respond to our clients and make sure we're taking the best care of them. I know when I talk to real estate clients, you know, I always tell them, I'm like, 
you know, whether it be a lender or law firm or title company, I say you someone local, yeah. the ability mm-hmm. to walk into a business and hold that business accountable. Mm-hmm. It, it's, I don't think you can place a value on it, no matter how small or how large the transaction is mm-hmm. or whatever that cost is, that ability to hold that person accountable and walk in and know what's going on. That's the only way you're going to be able to get something done. If, if there is an issue that pops up and that surfaces. So, Absolutely. you know, we've seen transactions where we've had that lender that's in South Florida or that title company that's mm-hmm. in South Florida, who's gone unresponsive, who we can't right. reach, who we can't contact. And, you know, my, my advice, my general blanket advice to people is you someone local. And I, and I try to talk to them from the beginning because I've seen those situations that have gone bad for those people. And that, that ability, that evasiveness that they have just inherently being located down South, they don't have the luxury or the accountability of seeing their clients at Publix or, uh-huh. or the grocery store. And so I think that that's something that is a unique feature about using people who are local because we do have to be cognizant of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So uh, is there anything else that you guys wanted to offer or say? Um, you know, I mentioned earlier that I've been trying to come over to Marine Bank for some time. Um, obviously, it's a really special place. Um, one of the things I value is having access to you know teammates, and that includes um, our CEO, Bill Penny. Um, it's not often that you work for a place that you can call your CEO and he answers the phone, um, <laughs> yeah. or you know have him you know come out on client visits with you, or have him just you know check in and say you know how are things going. Um, and that's really what sets Marine Bank apart. You can, whether you're an employee or a client, mm-hmm. you can walk right into the office and you can meet Bill and say hi to the team. And that accessibility is invaluable. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not only is he a resource for us, he's a resource for all of our clients too. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, that was Nikki and Tori from Marine Bank and Trust. <laughs> I'm Jordan Lulich, and this was Lulich Corner, hosted by Lulich and Attorneys. Thank you so much. <laughs>